Hi everyone, Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom blog. I hope everyone is doing fantastic today. We are now in February and I actually saw some really, really cute little mailboxes at Target when I was there last night shopping. Look how cute they are. And I thought, you know, they're, they're only a dollar. They're in the, they're in the little dollar bin in the front of the Target store and I thought surely we can use them for something because they are so cute. So of course you have your regular, the kids can decorate them with stickers and put their names on them, whatever you want to do and they can use them for a Valentine's party to put all their little cards in and their candy in and that would be super cute as well. If you have a small Valentine craft that your students maybe are making for their parents, that would be fantastic and wonderful to throw in there as well. My thing was I wanted to do something different that we haven't seen yet with the mailboxes. So I created um, a Black History Month mailbox. Okay, so I have lots and lots of famous African Americans that I just took labels, clear labels, printed off some pictures and I kind of made a, a little collage kind of thing. You certainly could get a little bit fancier than I did, but that's just what I did. And basically what you can do is set it someplace in your classroom and then um, once a day um, go through and put the flag up before school and inside put one of these handy note cards. And it basically just says, who am I? And it gives you three facts about a famous African American. And then you could actually have the students write their answers on a slip of paper as to who their guest is. And then you can put them right inside there, close it up, and after school you could check it out. The next day um, you could announce who it was. So if we flip over the card, um, for this card obviously it was Martin Luther King Jr. And then there's a source down there as well. I also, so I have five cards in the pack um, as well because it's just a freebie. It's all I really had time for. But I also included a blank one in there as well. So you could actually go through and um, put your own information on there with a Sharpie, with whatever you want to. You could actually just do it, laminate them. You could use them from year to year. For Black History Month, it's a great way to get the kids involved. They'll be excited. It's kind of a mystery thing where they can guess to see who the famous African American was for Black History Month. Just something fun. It gives them a little bit of background on some famous Americans. And I, I think that's a great way to incorporate Black History Month into your curriculum as well. Great way to start the day, uh, you know, learning about all of these famous Americans. So. If you go straight below, if you're watching this on YouTube, go straight below to the link. It will take you to my blog post, and on that blog post, you'll find the link for the free download of five cards that are already finished for you, and then a blank template as well. And honestly, guys, all I did was I printed them off on um, postcards. Just postcard size is what you're looking for. I print them off on postcards, I cut the paper in half, and then I folded them back. Now you certainly could cut them if you want to, cut them down this way, and then you would have two separate cards so that they won't be able to see who it is right away. Or you could do this as sort of a center activity as well. Give them these cards, and then maybe put these ones, have a number or something on the back of them, which would then match to this. So. That's my fun idea for using these cute little mailboxes for something different in the classroom that we haven't used yet. Certainly, you could use them for Valentine's Day, for whatever you want to use them for, but for a dollar, even if you had the parents donate the dollar for the students, it would be great for a Valentine's craft or for a Valentine's party as well. They have them, I saw them in the teal, the pink, the white, I know there was red there as well, maybe even other colors. So if you're gonna jump on them, now's the time to do it, otherwise they're gonna be gone at Target, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed this. As always, feel free to join me at the Organized Classroom blog. Um, feel free to subscribe here to my YouTube channel, and I will see you again the next time, okay? Bye.